Alrighty folks, still hiking along. Really enjoying the prettiness that the snow brings to the forest. Um, I kind of dreaded the snow, but this stuff really kind of came out of nowhere. I thought it was going to be a light flurry and it turned into full-on winter wonderland. <laughs> but it makes the area look really pretty. And it's covered in snow. Well, howdy, folks. Sean here from hikingwithsean.com. Smokey. And Smokey. Smokey here from hikingwithsmokey.com. Mm. Today I am heading to Rimrock to meet up with uh, Steve Melville from Rimrock Dogwood Cabins. Um, and he's going to lead a hike with the River to River Trail Society. Um, around the Pounds Hollow area. So that's the plan. Um, as you can see though, we got quite a bit of snow last night. So it'd be interesting to see uh, what it looks like over there and how many people show up to the hike. Um, it's first snow of the season. See you Smokey. And I am gonna hopefully drive on good roads. It would be there for you to do it. <laughs> This is the good thing about walking behind. The path's already broken for me. All right. We are on our hike. All right, folks, we got some bluffage. Got bluffage on the Steve's hike. Pretty cool bluffage. But yeah, yeah. the boots are much better yeah. because of stability and everything like that. Oh, you did? Right. Christine Duncan. 3464. Mm. All right, folks. This is one of the many blue holes that exist in the Shawnee. Yeah, that's a really nice cascade. It'd probably be really nice if it was flowing good. All right, got a horse high line here. So if you're coming out here on a horse or a mule, you know, you can, you can tie up. Folks, here's Blue Hole. At least one of the Blue Holes. There's a million of them, like I said. <laughs> one over by Jackson Hole. Alrighty, folks. Cool area here. You going down or? No, I'll, I'll come. Yeah. Cool. Cool area. See them Shawnee Mountains out there. All sorts of mountains. Right here around the corner. Well, how do you get to it? Come from up there? Yeah. Really cool spot here, folks. Steve calls it Sasquatch Cave. This is a pretty deep cave shelter. Especially cool right now with the snow. Uh, there you go. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. All right. So the cave I was in was up there. And here's like a little cave. So this is for little Bigfoot. Big Bigfoot. Little Bigfoot. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> All righty. Just a cool area. Good bluffage here. We're gonna hit mile five. It's been kind of hilly. Alright. 
walking through Pine Grove. It's starting to snow again, folks. Hey, in case you haven't seen them lately, here's baby Bigfoot, Buford, the little Bigfoot. Hello, I'm Buford. Look at my feet. <laughs> so there you go. There's Buford. Um, hikes over, went almost five miles, and uh, I haven't even looked at the elevation. Probably pretty good elevation. I don't have signal where I am, so I won't be able to see it. But I bet it's probably close to 700 foot elevation, maybe, maybe 600, maybe a little bit around five. I'm probably exaggerating. <laughs> um, it probably like a thousand now, but uh, almost five miles. I really enjoyed it. I got to see some people I haven't seen in a while. Enjoyed doing that. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you on the trail.